Okay, good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Ian with Ben Sion. Today's daf is Meseches Nazir daf Chav Zayin. I want to talk today about something which is not new to daf Chav Zayin. We've been talking about it since Chav Dalit. Again, the Gemara is still an ongoing discussion about cases where the Naziris is terminated prematurely. Um, either the either the husband was Mayfair. That was a classical case in daf Chav Dalit where a woman took a Naziris upon herself and the husband was made for her in his ears, and she set aside money, or she set aside animals for the carbonos. What do you do with the carbonos? What do you do with the money? Um, also, we've been talking about a case or a regular nausea. It can be a man, and he set aside money, or he set aside carbonos. And then he died before completing his ears. What do you do with the unspecified money? What do you do with the animals that were specified? So we have the halachal mishutina. The unspecified monies go the ketem is beach, all the dava for ketem is beach. When this beach is bought, it's not being. There's no carbonos being offered. You remarkable if all this and by that point. However, if the animals were specified, the chatas has to die. And the Ola and Shlomim, the Ola Tikar of Ola, the Mishnah Center of Chavdala, Shlom Tikar of Shlomim, we see this also on Chav Zayinam at Bez. In the middle, we're talking about um, a little different case where you have a, a father and a son, both are in Azirim, right? And it's talking about sometimes the son could use his father's money that he set aside for his carbonos for his own carbonos if he becomes a Nazir after his father died. And he says when he becomes a Nazir, I'm using my father's money. Or if he, however, if he accepts the Naziris before his father died, then he can't, in the middle of his Naziris, say, oh, if my father died, I'll use the money for my carbonos. Like, you can't do that. So in, in, in passing, it says also that if the father set aside the animal, right? He set aside an animal, so that even comes out from the Gemara later on, that even if he became an Azra after his father died, you can't, that was his father's carbonos, you can't use that anymore. And therefore, if he says aside a chatas, has to die, because the father is dead. So a chatas, shamei subale, he, the chatas dies, you let it die. You don't give it food and water, and it dies. <clears throat> the shlam tikar of ola, shlam, ola tikar of uh, the ola tikar of ola, shlam tikar of shlam. So the ola and shlam are brought. So what are they brought as? Like all these cases we've been talking about, the Arshkel says they're brought ola and dava and shlam and dava. Because the Naziris is terminated, right? His father's Naziris is terminated. Or any of the cases in the Mishnayos. If the husband's Mayfair, the, the woman's Naziris, it's terminated. Um, if a person dies, right? And he's better set aside animals, his Naziris is terminated. So, Arjun says you can bring Shalmi and Dava, all the Dava. However, I mentioned the Mishnah of Dalit says that there are certain halakha that apply to the Shlomim, right? Even though regular Shlomim, a Shalmi and Dava, you bring a Shalmi and Dava, how long do you have to eat that carbon? You have two days and one night. Shalmi knows you only have one day and one night. And that's what the mission says on Chav, on Chav, hey, um, Chav Dal and Aleph, that you only have one one day and one night to eat the Shlom. It's like the Shlom of a Nazira. It does, it's not doing a Lechem, even though the Shlom of a, a Nazir, after 30 days, you have to bring 40 loaves of bread. Here you don't bring 40 loaves of bread because practically there's no Nazir anymore, right? The woman's Nazira is terminated by her husband or the person died. So there's no completion of the zeros anymore, so there's no point in baking the breads and doing tenufa. You're not going to wave the bread, so you don't do that. And we talked more in one of the Ibn Ben Sion. What about, there's something which the Bryce doesn't, the Mishnah doesn't talk about. Um, what about giving the right foreleg, right? The right hind leg always goes to the Kohan. And what about giving the right foreleg to the Kohan? The Shalmi Nazir is different than a regular Shalmi. That the right foreleg also goes to the Kohan. So we had a machlokas in the Rosh and the Rambam. I said in earlier with you know, Ben Sion that basically I thought that the halacha is and in this type of case, not in a case where your makriv, uh, the shlamim, uh, your makriv a karma and shlamim uh, with the wrong intention, shlamim and you think it's an ola. In that case, it's a, the carbon is batel. And of course, it's like a regular shaman and dava. You're not ola lebayal m'shem chova. It's not a, you're not, you didn't fulfill your, your requirement. But it is considered a shalom dava, and it's considered a complete shalom dava, practically, and that the right foreleg would not go to the Kohen. It would go, it's like a regular shalom. However, when the Naziris is terminated, how far I've explained, it's not a complete termination of the Naziris. It's you're, you're, you're weakening the words of the Kabbalist Naziris, but it does exist partially, believe, right, that your Makabal Naziris believe. The Naziris continues a little bit. It just can't be finalized because you're not going to proceed practically with the Naziris. Um, and reach the completion of 30 days and do the waiving service. So, however, the Naziris is not completely terminated. And I said also, and I'm saying also now, that when a person dies in the middle of his Naziris, I believe that the Ola and the Shlom, when the Bryce is always talking about Ola, Tikar of Ola, Shlom, Tikar of Shlom, it's Ola, Chova, and Shlom, Chova. 
Because I said a different Elon Ben Sion. If you're listening to all the Elon Ben Sion's, I'm talking about these circuits over here. That the Ola and Shlomim are not Medin Nazirus. Are not Medin Nazirus. Um, even when you complete your Nazirus, you have a Nazirus for 30 days, you complete your Nazirus, you bring a Chadas Ola and Shlomim. The Chadas, again, is for the Nazirus itself because you made a sin by abstaining from wine for a certain amount of time. The Ola and the Shlomim are just accompanying kor- Korbanos that the Ola is basically a, a Matana that you give to Hashem. That you're asking... You're giving a present to Hashem, and you're asking Him that He He should listen to your tefilos or listen to whatever bakashas you have, right? All is the makom, makom, you know, the the of makom carbon, uh, to me then that the carbon tamid was a carbon ola, right? So it's like tefila, the present you give to Hashem. The first three brachas of Hashem, we say this praises, you say the praises you give a, you give a present, and a carbon shlamim is you know basically it's like a brokerage fee, you know, when you're doing business with kohanim. Right, you're making them. They're served. They're they're chartered with bringing carbonos for you. Um, on the mizbeach, they have to do a vote. It's not easy to bring the carbonos, so it's a whole lot vote. So therefore, you do you bring a carbon shlamim at the end of your nazirus to a sort of brokerage fee that you know Cohen gets some, you get some. You all make shalom. You have peace because it's annoying to have to bring so many carbonos. So that's what it is. So all in shlamim, I don't think it's all this nadava and shalom and nadava. I believe all the chova and shalom because I. I believe even if you die or the Nazirus was abrogated by the husband through Hafara, the Nazirus still, what there was in Nazirus, right? There was a period of Nazirus until the person died. He observed 15 days in Nazirus and then he died. So now the Ola Tikara Ola, Shalom Tikara Shalomim, there's still an aspect of Doron, right? Of giving him a ton to Hashem, right? Asking him that he should be Mechabel, you are Nazirus, right? Because it could be Stam Nazirus, could be a mitzvah also. Stam Nazirus could be a mitzvah. There's an act of it being a mitzvah if it's a Stam Nazirus 30 days. I mentioned that before. And so you want to give a doron to Hashem to give, you know, give a present to Hashem and ask him that he should makabel this mitzvah that he did in Nazirus, right, for Rachamim. And the content of Shlomim still applies because he's bringing Karbon. He has to bring the, he has to bring, um, the Ola. So this is to bring the Ola, which all looks so therefore Shlomim applies. You have to make Shalom. You do a brokerage fee. They're doing a votus over here. So there I believe the, the Shlom is also Shalmi Choba. Because the Nazirus happened. It happened for 15 days. And in the case of a woman who had her husband was made for the Nazirus, the Nazirus is still in place partially. So therefore I don't believe the Nazirus ever died, right? Even if it was the person died, the Nazirus is still there for 15 days, right? Or if the husband was made for the Nazirus, it was, it's really there partially, or at least it was there until he was made for the Nazirus. So even a partial Nazirus is considered something which warrants and Olas Chova and a Shalmi Chova, and I believe that the dinim of Shalmi Chova and Olas Chova apply, and that's why I explained that in these cases, the right four leg would be given to the Gohanim because it is a Shlomim of uh, Nazirus, and Ola of Nazirus, and therefore, the only Allah which doesn't apply is the bread, which is Tanufa, because you're not going to practically do the waving, which is a procedure after 30 days, there's no 30 days, Nazirus is over after 15 days, or after the Afara, however, technically, it's only technicality, but in terms of whether it being a Shalmi Chov or Ola Chov, I believe they are Shalmi Chov or Ola Chov because the Nazirus was partially observed. Um, and I believe that's the Allah over here when it comes, we're talking about the father, both the father and son both being Nazir. Whatever it says, the Ola Tikar Ola Shalmi Tikar Ola Shalmi, I believe it's Torah Shalmi Chov and Ola Chov. And of course, it's Divin Nafkamina, as a Masechus Kodshim between the two. Hope you enjoyed today's year. See you in the next one.